Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure static DHCP leases. So go to IP DHCP server and then click on leases. And uh, this, listing, this listing is showing all the computers or devices that got an IP address from your DHCP server. And the D stands for dynamic. That means these addresses were issued dynamically. That means they can change. So we have the address, which is the address that the client is going to get. And also we have the address, active address, which is the address that is currently assigned to the client. And the DHCP server uses the, the MAC address to determine which IP address it's assigned to that device and it also have a tab for the host name so this is the name of the device and the expires after is really the lease that is left and the lease for this um, DSCP server is set to currently set to one minute and I reduce it to that low because I reduce it that low because I'm because of this tutorial and I didn't want it to take too long before the lease expires, so I reduced it. But at the default setting is 10 minutes, and this is the lease time is really subjective. It's based on your personal preference or what is happening in your environment. So, but for this tutorial, I'm using one minute. But I recommend that you use at least 10 minutes for your lease. Alright, and so if you want to configure a static lease, all you need to do is to double click on, on a client. So I'm going to use this one, which is the, the Win 10 PC. Double click on that device and click Make Static. Then click OK. And now you notice the D is missing. That means this address is no longer dynamic. So it is static. So by double clicking back on the address, we will have more options. And we can go ahead and change the IP address for this um, device. So I'm going to change this to 200. And when the lease expires, this device will get 192.168.88.200 and I apply it click OK so you notice right here the lease the active address is, is 250 although we have set the address to be 200 and the reason why the address hasn't changed yet is because the lease hasn't expired but usually the client usually request a lease a new lease or a new address before the lease expires and you, you just saw that happening so just before it doesn't go down to zero before it asks for a new lease a lease is usually renewed before it, it, it expires so let me demonstrate so I'm going to go over to that PC now and check the lease so I'm going to check details here. So this one has 252. Let me just can go over to task manager. Yes. And this and the Wi-Fi has 200. So it's a wireless adapter. Uh, the DHCP server issued the dot 200 address too. While the Ethernet is dot 252. If I if I disable or disconnect, I'm gonna just dis disconnect the the wireless and then reconnect back to the network. The computer will still get the dot two hundred address. And also, you, you are able to add an, a comment to 
the lease so I can say this is my Windows 10 computer so you are now able to to add comments to your static lease for your dynamic lease you are not able to add any comment so that's one plus where you can easily you know identify your devices so that's how easy it is to create static lease and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so and that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching